Hello traders, welcome to LH Blue. This is Deepen Kogoi and in this video I will discuss about crude oil. So this is crude oil daily chart. So I think you remember I given a range uh, supporting line and a range. So for your buy entry point, buy and uh, like a sell entry point. So I given a range around 3520. So I yesterday I told this is a supporting line so you can go for buy here. So who people are bought, uh, most of the people are bought already, they uh, told me yesterday and they WhatsApp me or mailed me and they are getting a large profit from there. And uh, right now, so uh, let me explain some uh, important point before you trade. So I think uh, in my previous video, I never told like that. So let me tell you. So when you are going for entry like uh, when you are going for trade in any market not in crude oil any market so you just uh, two to three point you just uh, focus in your mind so first thing uh, first point you remember which direction you will go for buy right sorry buy or sell like right in which direction you will go in which direction you will go buy or sell first right if you want to take buy position so where is your entry point buying entry point we, uh, number two uh, where is your entry point or if you want to sell where is your entry point sell next where is your sl right that is two point and the three point if trend is up or trend is down what is the last point of this trend suppose uh, let me show you here uh, just a minute let me show you a little more so ha have you seen this one we have seen here uh, this is the last point and that this is the last point and that this is the last point uh, this is the uptrend it's just showing last point and this is the downtrend this is the last point this is the uptrend is the last point and downtrend what is the last point so before market that uh, before trend reverse to other trend like uh, this is the uptrend right if they are uh, before they are starting downtrend they are forming some in this area they are forming some pattern so you have to find out that pattern right so let me show you here if you see here like daily pattern have you seen this is a, a candlestick pattern of forming above this supporting line this is t5 uh, uh, two zero. this is a supporting line so let me show you why it is becoming a supporting line let me do a little more so it is too small right so let me show you weekly then it will better like here you can see this is uh, this was a strong support previously they are forming right this is a support like here is a support and this is a uh, resistant area so this zone is a very strong supporting zone right when market goes up a little more now price just uh, retracing right so now this is a strong supporting zone so if in case they break this zone so we are expecting they will go further low right so it is a high probability reverse from this area so that is why we are looking for a small time frame a good pattern where we can confirm the market will reverse from that area right and then now let's see here in daily now daily you can see here they are forming a candlestick pattern have you seen i think you know this candlestick pattern you so if you don't know about that and how to use this candlestick pattern you just visit to our website uh, which is written by me and uh, let me show you uh, where is that where is that where is that where is that yeah this is the end iq page you just go to allies blue and you'll find here and iq page and go to pattern and click on candlestick pattern right this is a candlestick pattern that pattern is forming like that uh, let me show you no this is it 
article and you just visit here and I read somewhere somewhere pattern pattern hanging man engulfing pattern right you just click on engulfing pattern you just visit and read the all candlestick pattern right bullish engulfing pattern have you seen this one they're forming like that this is a small bearish candle after long bearish right they're forming a long large bullish candle and when they are forming it is a confirming that market will go up but not hundred percent sure in this market there is no hundred percent sure right so it is a high probability right sometimes they are doing miss uh, like a signal also false signal also they are creating right but this is a hundred percent uh, the, uh, that is not 100 percent but high probability at least 70 80 percent probability to reverse from that area and i'm writing some criteria above just you just to read their uh, summary or criteria everything i am mentioning here and drawing that one so you just go through what is the market behavior everything will be available here right so that type of pattern is forming daily so that is why we are confirming uh because here is a supporting area right this is a strong supporting area and confirming here and to confirm we are getting here one they are forming a double bottom right if they break this area and it will be a double bottom pattern right or most of the people are telling like um, w pattern right that is the neckline yeah forming here neckline if they break this level so we'll confirm the market will go up that means downtrend will complete here like that they are running uptrend complete at downtrend complete at forming w pattern or something something and we'll confirm that market will go up from this area so we are looking for waiting for confirmation right so if you see in a small time frame like four hour they are also forming up there right have you seen this one have you seen this candle sorry this is candlestick pattern right after giving a bearish uh, uh, pattern uh, this is a small bearish candle and after that you can see it's a large bullish candle that means fully engulfed by the smoke uh, by the large candle the smoke candle right so that is why we are confirming that market will go up right and another thing people are thinking here they are forming a doji pattern right but actually what happened after breaking this zone so i draw this line i think you remember uh like uh, four to five days ago not a four to five day, one or two week ago so after breaking this area they are doing a retracement so what happened actually when there is a resistance when they break this area and again push down uh toward uh, supporting line right and after that area so price again uh, start continuing toward upside right we are expecting from this area after getting this support so we are expecting it will go up right so this is for our chart so we are getting a uh, good confirmation because here is you can see one bottom two bottom are forming also in four hour chart now let's see in a small time frame like uh, 15 minute for our anti and exit now it should look like that right so let me zoom a little more so like that uh, small so they are uh, creating lower low lower high lower low lower high have you seen lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high but they are not able to create a lower low because here is here was the lower low but here they are not able to break lower low so we are expecting they will create new high right so in a small uh, time frame right now let's see for uh, our entry point right now we can see this is our market right and uh, this is our supporting area have you seen this is our supporting area so we are looking for have you seen this 200 moving average and this is the ishimoku line so i mostly use this line and when once they break this 200 so we'll start buying from this area and our target will be around 3787 and our SL will be just below this supporting line. Have you seen? This is a supporting range, right? I think you know. Uh, this is our supporting range. Let me change the color. Then it comes to know. 
Ah, which color? Yeah, red will be good. So this is our resistant area. Uh, sorry, supporting zone, right? So if you wanna enter here for the buy direction above this 200 moving average, right? So our SL will be here and the target will be this area. So in case if they break this area, we are looking for retrace again and we will start selling from this area and our target will be around 35. So that is why you are always find out the entry and exit point, right? Like here you can see, this is our entry point for the buy above this line and this is our entry point for the sell, right? So we have seen two our entry point, one buy here sl here just below right sell here sl will be here right we are looking for buy and sell and our target will be here first target uh, for the buy and sell target will be here right so that is where you always find out the uh, what called buy and sell entity right if you want to see the trend zone like uh, people are mostly using the uh, price channel so some people are called price channel so we have seen three consequences here, higher point here, right? One, twice, and trap, right? This is the lower point. So let's see. Uh, let me draw a, uh, a trend channel by connecting this higher and lower point, right? This is our higher and lower point, right? We have seen here. And this is our supporting area. Right now we can see, have you seen this is our trend channel? So right now price is running like that, right? Like that and target will be here for the buy and sl will be just below right so i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching